<laughs> so hi everyone i've come to realize that motherhood changes everything it is overwhelming it is exciting it is what exhausting all at the same all adjectives you can think of at the same time sweetheart mm -hmm. it's not motherhood what it is parenthood oh, it yeah. is for both of us <laughs> boy <laughs> child boy <laughs> child <laughs> like no, 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 no. the journey is between you and your man okay my so, man <laughs> <laughs> guys guys listen eh? <laughs> kuza sio kazi Kazi ni kulea, kazi ni kulea. Very true. <laughs> Utagundua kwamba kazi ni kulea utakapompokea mtoto wako kwa mara ya kwanza. Mm -hmm. So, hii ni simulizi fupi ya safari yetu ambayo tumeipenda sana kuanzia mwanzo mpaka sasa hivi mm -hmm. ya jinsi tulivyo mlea mtoto wetu baby Ari, mm -hmm. changamoto zote zilizotupiga left right and center, eh, mazuri yote, mabaya yote tutakupatia katika hii simulizi. Kwa hivyo karibu, I hope uta enjoy, I hope uta learn a few things here and there kwa sababu mm -hmm. hii tunaita parenthood ama parent hack 101 <laughs> just what you'll expect as a new mom as a new dad what our experiences are and yeah some of the things we did to cope with our new situations as parents mm, welcome sana 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 wa, wanaume kule nje no, nataka kuongea nataka kuongea na nini kidogo women. kidogo tu well, kidogo yes. <laughs> And women, what you go through physically, emotionally, mentally, just everything all wrapped in one. Being a mom, I have a newfound respect for my own mother and mothers everywhere because it is quite something. It's, it's, it, takes, it takes a whole lot of you to bring up your child. Yeah, very true. <laughs> and um, I also respect single mothers, uh, teenage uh, mothers, uh, mothers who got pregnant without having planned before and even mothers who have like uh, they have husbands but the husbands are not as supportive as they should be especially at the beginning when just after you've gotten your baby just everyone who's not had any support when they are bringing up their child and when they have just been in, uh, gotten into motherhood I really respect you for you know what you've done and going through it alone because it's it's you need a lot of support at that particular time so yeah and also uh, alafu pia uh, inatukumbusha kwamba wazazi wetu wamepitia mengi so imenifanya pia kuheshimu zaidi and then you get to understand some of the decisions that uh, your parents really made yes. at that particular stage for you in life yes. uh, the moment you've received your baby ukishamshika mtoto wako hivi wakati unamlea uh, day by day unakumbana na majukumu tofauti tofauti left right and center changamoto nyingi ndio unapata kuelewa na kuheshimu wazazi wote duniani so much respect mad love for all the parents out there uh, it's not an easy journey but we know with the support of God Mungu anatushika mkono sisi wote maana hii safari ni Mungu tu peke yake ama namna gani mkiwa That's true and I'll also like to add that you become a whole new person once you become a parent something inside of you is in I'm sure <laughs> Sorry, mom compia because yeah, you just experience it's just a new you. You feel like you want to protect your child with everything that you have. Yeah, especially as a dad. I even as a man. What do you mean? provide for your family. You want to provide for your son or your daughter, for your wife as well. You want to protect them. Yani kuna kitu tu kina kinakuja ndani yako unakisikia and the feeling is very magical. Yes. It's very, you can only experience it when you are ready as a new dad. Yeah, as a new mom. Explain, yeah. You have to, and you have to embrace the feeling mm -hmm. because now that's you from there on mpaka key for you really, because you're a, once you're a parent you're a parent yes, yeah yes, yes. so now i will start with so we'll go through our journey what our experiences are as you had said before and i will start with hospital essentials the things you need to carry to the hospital because that's where now when your baby comes there are some things you need to have ready so all the things that you need to carry um to the hospital 
for your baby and for the mom and if the husband atakuwa na wewe pia for him but wanaume wanakuanga wako tu sawa si ni masoja tuko eh. really ready <laughs> wanaweza kuwa tuna hiyo nguo moja wanaweza kaa nayo like a whole week hivi <laughs> na kuanga tayari tayari <laughs> but yeah so for the child and for the mother and for the dad as well change of clothes toothpaste toothbrush so anaweza kata umbebe but unaziweka tu unaziweka tu hapo wazijua yeah you never know <laughs> So uh yes yeah, so I'll start with the child for the child what you need are warm clothes uh, regardless of the season ametoka kwa womb the womb is very warm so she needs to be she or he needs to be warm I'm sorry I'll refer to she because that's what we have so yeah so you'll need to carry warm clothes mittens uh, sweaters meaning uh, in rompers hats uh, just warm clothing for your child Uh you also need to carry a basin to wash the baby uh because depending on the number of days you'll be at the hospital mtoto ataoshwa so you need something uh clean sterilized I see it doesn't have to be a big bucket or basin just a small one because they're usually very tiny to wash the baby you need the soap you need a washcloth you need uh oil baby oil after that when you uh when you carry it for me I on ari skin I use shea butter so yeah that's what I carry it and then also use uh, curry diapers and curry your preferred diaper curry also um yes wet wipes and cotton uh, for the baby anything that i had forgotten my receiving blanket oh yes lazima ubebe blanket hizo za kumfunika kwa wao za za kuswaddle but you are essential the, the swaddling blankets are the ones that keep the baby warm it so that i feel kama kwa kwa womb the you wrap oh you don't want to talk about man so i just care ni kama yuko nyumbani bado very important i think so you know okay fine but you can use also a normal blanket to just wrap sort of the baby they are feeling kama ako nice and warm and you know like ako kwa womb and, and they feel sweet at yeah. uh, what we've just said is very important and uh, most of it also depends with the hospital yes a lot of the things i'm going to state actually depend on the hospital because some hospitals provide all uh, some of the things that i have said uh utako mechagua the hospital you go to before so utajua wana provide nini or provide nini some hospitals even provide for the baby newborn clothes so but sometimes you will also prefer having your own you know so depending on the hospital you're going to give birth in you you know what to carry and then also also at a package uh, that you can also even pay for extra things to have at the hospital depending on the package you take they provide some of these things depending, depending on also on uh, how heavy you are <laughs> yes what you Manisha, pay for uh, yes fukwako yes how loaded you are how loaded you are yes, yes. so you'll have some of those <laughs> things uh, taken care of at the hospital then i'll move on to the mom For a mom you'll need a nursing pillow to support your hands as you hold the baby the weight of the baby really when you're breastfeeding because uh, you breastfeed uh, once the baby is born another thing you'll need is maybe a nipple cream because your breasts you're not used to breastfeeding so they'll be a bit sore so you need some nipple cream you will need uh, of course a change of clothes the normal towel toothbrush toothpaste and uh anything else yes anything to make you feel comfortable uh, socks uh, extra blankets extra pillows yeah then you'll also need uh something called a perennial comfort pillow it's like a donut pillow you can use a pillow or a cushion uh that's for your ride back home when you're going home eh hey, barabara za kenya na hizi mapotos potos na maybe your bum you have a wound you do not want any impact it's, re- it's still fresh and you chungu so just when you're sitting on the car on the car seat ukalie ndio when you're sitting just for you for, for comfort, you just really. for comfort to be able to kuchukua your impact to cushion from the impact speaking of the car remember to have installed uh, the car seat for the baby, for yeah. the baby and make sure you get mm-hmm. one that is for a newborn to six months there are different sizes so you get the one for the newborn for the car seat so you'll have it installed in the car before then you'll also need a seat bath A seat bath is uh the what you use to sit on the warm salty water in the hospital. So when you're sitting in the toilet seat, the seat bath imeingia ndani. So you sit like normally, but now you have the water and the and the, the salty warm water just there. So it's it's more comfortable than the normal basin that the hospitals offer. But because maybe how kai siku nyingi kwa hospital unaweza tumia the basin that they offer then when you come home you just have the seat bath. Then also carry maybe things to entertain you uh, 
Speaker. Hakuna. Ah, Mnapiga story na mke wako. Um, speaker magazine uh, books if you read. Sindio. Sindio unapiga story. Acha utapiga story. Hiyo ni bonding bado. <laughs> Unabeba hizo. Then kumbuka kubeba maternity pads some hospitals offer. Then carry maternity maternity pants. You can get them in the uh, uh, supermarket or my baby shops. Uh, but a friend uh, advised me you get hizo zinaitwa the mothers union. Just big like cotton, cotton panties, big ones uh, that will, you know, you'll be comfortable, they are airy, that will, you'll be able to have the pad sitting nicely. And then also carry, what? Yes, uh, just some fruits that are long lasting like apples or anything and glucosate. My friend bought me glucosate after I delivered, it came uh, really handy for energy. What you're saying in the hospital, so glucosate really helped me. And now, Immediately you deliver and you start breastfeeding, depending on the number of days you stay at the hospital, your breasts will produce a lot, a lot of milk. So there's like some uh, breast engorgement. So you'll have like your breast may swell and it's quite painful. So you may, you may have to carry like a breast pump, so just to pump out the milk. But sometimes not necessary. You might just have to use it at home or you can use your hands. But breast pump is nice. You can carry just a normal manual one or a, a small electric one. So those are the things that you may need. Anything else that I've forgotten? Sweet chat. Ni mependa uo mtiriko. Umevitaja mmoja bada ya nyingine. Ah, yes, insurance. If you're using insurance and uh, money, or money you need to carry that as well in your bag. So those are some of the things that you need. Nakituingine. <laughs> On to the bath. Um, Rufus was with me all through the delivery. He was with me at the delivery room. He ended up calling me push, push, push. Moral support. Na, na push. Moral support. Very important. So, yeah, yeah that's where your journey as parents begin. Uh, wako, wakati anapojifungua. Mm. It's a magical experience. It's a beautiful experience. You will never forget that moment, and uh, it will make you respect your partner in life so much. Utam respect sana, cause uh, uh, what you will see always is how na itakupatia tumesema kumbele ni mwanpompia, lakini itakupatia mtazamo mwingi ne tofauti sana wa maisha. And you'll see how strong women are. Yeah, 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 right. What's up? Yeah, so basically, yeah, so that's uh, Rufus was with me during the birth of the baby, and <clears throat> that's where now your role begins as, as a, well as a new way, dad. When with, yeah, with your bundle right. of joy. <laughs> with your bundle of joy, and yeah, so once the baby comes. And yo yo, where where the first thing you do, I think uh, you have the skin to skin. If you, if your baby does not have any complications, you have the skin to skin, so your baby is placed with you. Na so, kubuka, na kubuka, mtoto alipopokelewa, nilipo mshikilia. Ganje nili ilikuwa kwa kwa araka sana, lakini niki tunguwa ni metamani na nikuwa ni mesema lazima itafanya. Nili muombea, nili dedicate, sini ku dedicate. Dedicate. Yeah. Nili dedicate kwa mungu, unajua una 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 mumba mungu amlinde, am provide ye, akutane na maitaji yake, yaki asili, yaki ro, yaki feda, yani mungu awe na katika safari yake ya maisha mara kendo na yanza, wazia sahiyo, baka ataka pokata pumps, unaona. So it's yeah. something that. Uh, ili nifanya ilikuwa ni lazima niwe katika ile delivery room iwe ni kitu cha kwanza kabisa kinachofanyika katika maisha ya mtoto wangu baby ari ni kumuombea kwa Mungu na kumfinika Mungu amlinde awe ni mtoto wa Mungu yani unaona na ile nifara ile nifurahisha sana ile nipara mpaka saa hii yani huwa nafurahi maana yake huyu yuko katika mikono ya Mungu kabisa <laughs> <laughs> so that's what you did as as that's what he did as immediately he got the baby and he's a dad now oh yes please don't feel pressured as dads to be in the hospital room rufa sapa kona rongumu yeah yeah to tuki watch tuki watch bath videos i was the one who was just flinching him he's very yeah sweet at you you can do this yeah how <laughs> so it can be traumatizing 
<laughs> yeah, unless you're like very strong sure. and willing and you want to experience that, but you don't have to be there as a dad, you don't have to be there, you can just come and let your to our call. No pressure. So yeah, so that's what we did immediately after the bath. For me, it's the skin to skin and then now breastfeeding. So the first thing, the nurse will come and try and press on your boob dog. You can also do that for yourself before so that you will, uh, when your baby is coming, you already have some milk that is there and flowing. So the first thing you do, breastfeed your child. And it's a very interesting experience, uh, especially when you do it for the as a first time mom, you're a new mom. Uh, very interesting. Oh, it's beautiful. You feel like you know you're bonding with the baby. You look at the baby, then they hold on to your finger. It's quite interesting. So uh, you will be taught how to do that at that particular time when you're nursing, how to breastfeed and how to uh, teach your baby now how to to make sure your baby latches to your breast. And so uh, this is what I was taught. I was actually taught, I had my friend with me, Maureen, uh, during just immediately after my delivery, all through my stay at the hospital, she was with me and she really helped. So she taught me how to do the whole breastfeeding thing. So you have your babies. Let me show you. Hi, mom. Come, on, mom. So your babies, <laughs> your baby's tummy should be towards you, your tummy as well. So they should be touching like that. And then she doesn't want to breastfeed. Um, so it's like that. And then, uh, so this is how you place your baby. You make sure stomach, stomach, like that. And then, so you give the breast to your baby. Then you make sure the dark part of your breast, that is the areola, all of it, uh, depending on how your boob looks like, because so now you make sure a, a whole big part of it is in her mouth so once the baby opens the mouth it's like you're throwing you you shove it you shove it inside yes. inside yeah to make Let sure i meant to i meant to a very big part of it as kuspeno kumufu yeah and the area and she can take it so that she learns how to open her mouth wide enough for her to breastfeed otherwise aki suck to on the nipple it will crack and my friend it's painful so make sure she knows how to latch you'll be shown by your nurse then uh now they're what uh, the babies when they're newborn they do not breastfeed that much there was a nurse who joked and said newborns are very lazy because they feed through the umbilical cord so in fact the first few days you'll have so much milk and the newborn is will not be breastfeeding that much they are still learning so they sleep a lot so yeah so don't be alarmed by that just make sure well, you just try to feed her all through that you're staying in the hospital um also make sure your now to topia by the way wana lala they really sleep. Ari, so ari lala paka nika shtuka hata mama yake alikuwa anashtuka yeah then oh yeah make sure i wanted to state that also make sure that there are some mothers or you're not able to have the breast milk out immediately ukiwa kwa hospitali so sometimes you may fear that your child atakosa maziwa ama atasikia nja and you and there's no milk yet so you can maybe carry a bit of formula of course uh, nurses will discourage that because uh, i don't know they prefer that you breastfeed but just in case your milk does not come and your baby needs to feed they won't stay hungry so uh, i was advised actually by my cousin so in case that happens just carry a bit of formula in case your milk doesn't come and if you're a mom and sometimes there are mothers who are not able to have any milk at all or it comes and then it disappears you're not less of a mother sometimes when you're not able to breastfeed a lot of mothers are guilty about it you're not less of a mother you're still a mom and you know breastfeeding is just part of the way you provide your child with uh, with uh, feeding but if you're not able to have breast milk you're still a mom you should not feel guilty about it yes so now as for me i spent the only one night at the hospital um i really wanted to go home because i felt that that is where i was safe i was comfortable really so that's that's why i left uh, i stayed after one night uh, but that night I stayed only for one night. But that night I did. We did not sleep because at that time you're just looking at this new baby that you have. I was, and then they're sleeping all the time and they're super still. I used to check like whether they're breathing every like thirty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and uh, what what I discovered is mm. baby can babies can sleep for a very long time. Yes, they actually sleep. I think eighteen to sixteen to eighteen. No, sixteen to uh, eighteen to hours a day. Straight, there. straight. Not straight. Huh? <laughs> they wake up every two to four hours. What do you call Yeah, aku ananya sweetheart. Please do not listen to him. They wake up every two to four hours to breastfeed, but they can sleep up to like 18 hours in a day. So they really sleep a lot. So that night you were at the hospital, you didn't sleep because I used to check whether uh, the baby was breathing. But before you leave the hospital, make sure you're confident in yourself and that you're sure that you'll be able to take care of the baby. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And now, okay, so but before you leave, there are a couple of things that you need to uh, make sure that you have done. Uh, number one, make sure that you have talked to like a lactation expert or maybe what a nurse who knows things about breastfeeding mm. so that they're able to tell you, you know, uh, your, your breastfeeding, uh, show you how the baby will latch. They just take you through the breastfeeding process. Also, talk to I've said lactation expert, also make sure that they, they let you know that, okay, they'll explain to you how breastfeeding works. For example, uh, you may lack milk because of maybe emotional distress or like mental torture or the trauma that you have gone through after delivering. So there are a couple of factors that affect the production of breast milk, so you'll be able to know that. Also talk to a nutritional expert, they'll be able to let you know what you need to eat while you're breastfeeding because what you eat is what goes to the baby and then they'll be able to tell you like uh, when the baby when you should start weaning your baby so but it's recommended you start uh, giving your child food at around six months or well four between four and six months your baby will let you know there's some signs that you look out for and to know if your baby is okay but mostly they say six months yeah and then also there are a couple uh, what else do you know you also make sure that your guy yeah also check uh, your guy is of course going to check you and give you a go ahead know how to wash your baby uh, your baby is very tiny the nurses uh, usually do it for you but make sure unajua kumwasha before when they ah uh, mimi hey i didn't know because you fear because they're very tiny and then you see when they have soap they're very slippery so as rufus alikuwa anashikilia mtoto mimi namwasha but yeah make sure you know how to wash your baby before you leave another thing make sure you know how to take care of the baby's belly button for me, I was told that I, I just needed it to, I needed to keep it dry, which I did, and to fall off. I didn't necessarily wash with, I don't know, spirit or uh, salty water. Some hospitals will tell you that, but I didn't do anything. I was just told to keep it dry. It will fall off on its own, and it did, and she's okay. So those are a couple of things. What else do you need to know? Uh, I think, sweetheart, kablo umalize, I need to mention a few things. That, uh, uh, number one, uh now i'm talking as a as a dad and i feel itu ni kuwapatia changamoto wa baba wengine ambao wako pale nje number 1 uh, it's very important you give your spouse emotional support uwe naye katika hiyo safari pale hospitali kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho ukiweza unaweza kuwa kwenye delivery room <laughs> unaweza kuwa kwenye <laughs> unaweza kuwa kwenye delivery room uh, inamsaidia sana kisaikolojia unaona na uta, utapata kujifundisha na kuheshimu maisha e, kiujumla and then e, number 3 very important ukiwa pale hospitalini kwa sababu mama atakuwa hajiwezi hali yake ile wewe ndio utakuwa unakimbia kimbia hapa na pale unaona e, unakuwa mpesi wewe unakuwa mtu mpesi unahakikisha mambo yanafanyika uh, kwa mtiririko na ufaa and then number four, uh, make sure before you leave the hospital, uh, you've gone to uh, get the birth notification certificate. Birth notification certificate is very important. Mm -hmm. Na mimi nilipoenda pale nilisikia raha manake niliona majina yangu yame yameingia rasmi katika kurasa za baby Ari. Eh, katika kurasa za baby Ari in terms of naming, naming our baby so your baby notification certificate ndio itakusaidia kupata birth birth certificate mm -hmm. at a later stage eh, ukienda ku apply and then number 5 Oh, eh, sorry also find out if the hospital applies for you so, eh, kuna eh, kuna zingine wanaku applyia kuna zingine eh. ama unaweza ifanya mwenyewe online kwa e citizen and then number 5 ndo nisisahau 
uh, make sure you get a vaccination schedule for your baby very 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 important hiyo inaweza mpita mama kwa sababu ya ile hali yake pale hospitalini mimi nilipita haya <laughs> nakumbuka mimi ndo nilienda kuchukua so before you sign out before you leave the hospital get the vaccination schedule for your baby ndo uweze kujipanga pia kisaikolojia na uweze kujipanga pia kihela ndo muweze kudecide kama utachukua the government one ama utachukua ile baby, baby friendly. friendly so yeah. it's important ni safari ujipange mapema and then uh, depending on uh, your earlier discussions with your gaina ama yule daktari mmekuwa mkili na yeye uh, unaweza ulizia upewe birth control advice Mhm. Mnaweza kutaka kufanya birth control at that particular moment ama muende alafu murudi after 3 months ama after 6 months depending on uh, the arrangement with your six partner. 6 months immediately <laughs> you resume after the 6 weeks or 8 weeks ama kwa sawa you need to already know if you didn't go through it at during the pregnancy during the it's pregnancy. part of the pre- the <coughs> clinic preparations when you're still pregnant. Ukikosa yeah. kufanya hiyo then uh, you will be a probable candidate for rapid repeat pregnancy. Be a baby after another nine months. <laughs> after another month, then you put a ten of Unless you're you're planning for that, but yes. Ah, uh, well, no. So, and then after that, you need number seven. Uh, make sure now the insurance card is ready. Ama kama uko umebeba cash, you want to pay cash. Eh, pesa iko tayari unaenda unashine pale kwa kashia unalipa unakumbana na bili yote unailipa and then now you will be ready to leave the hospital right yes, yes. and yeah tu sisi tukatoka tukafika nyumbani ukifika nyumbani make sure that you are ready your house leave your yeah. house when it was clean naweza kukatiza yes. kabla kutoka pale hospitalini kwa sababu na feel ile ni jukumu la baba mm. kama mwanamme eh, ukishalipa ukishalipa ile pesa make sure Uh, depending sasa na uwezo wa mtu kuna gari lipo pale linangojea jamii yako ndogo ama kama kuna taxi ama uba ama pia unaweza chukua matatu lakini akisha kwamba usafiri wako na mtoto wako na mke wako kwenda nyumbani uko very comfortable so hata ukiingia uh, gari la uma kama matatu jaribu ukae pale mbele wewe na dereva na na, na bibi yako na mtoto at least kuwe na comfort kwa sababu naelewa wakati mnatoka mama bado eh, hali yake si nzuri vile eh, bado yuko mbichi mbichi so anahitaji a lot of care so jaribu yani try as much as you can to make sure that you are offering moral support you are making sure that your family is very comfortable very important very comfortable very important <laughs> na mtakuwa na raha utapata mmefika nyumbani mama yuko sawa hana complications hajaumia hata wewe utafurahi manake everything is going on smoothly si ndio yes exactly and then when you uh, so what was it when you get at home make sure you leave your house is clean so that when you come back everything is in order umekunja nguo anything that needs to be uh, okay iko sawa make sure you also get a house help before if you want to use a house help, if you want to have a house help Uh, you can get her maybe one month before you deliver so that mko mmezoeana and all that you can alternatively have family to help you around which is what we preferred i had my little brother with me and also yeah basically that make sure make sure you have enough food in the house because you need to eat a very healthy diet when you're breastfeeding so yes so those are a couple of things to make hapo sure kwa chakula hapo kwa chakula hapo kwa chakula ni jambo la msingi sana ni kitu cha msingi mm. na ilo jukumu tungeachia kina baba unajua <laughs> <laughs> just make sure at home kuna chakula yani kusiwe na upungufu wa chakula maana wakati huu kumbuka kwamba mke wako ama mpenzi wako ama partner your partner anakula sana na anakula kwa anakula for two people kwa sababu yake mwenyewe na kwa sababu ya mtoto. Yeah, you get very hungry lakini. Like eh, wanakula sana. So make sure Sana, let me say sana. Tunakula. Eh. Tu, tunakula for two. So provision is very important. <laughs> Chakula kisipungue nyumbani. And then uh, if you can, unaweza mtengezea ile soup ya marondo. Yes, soup. bone soup. It's bone. very good for calcium. Ni jo soup ya marondo si. Eh, eh sasa unamchanganyia kidogo ya kuku. Ile ya vibuyu wao wanafanya hivi ile wao na mix mix ile. So, eh, lakini sasa si okay, na mek kwa nyumba kwa nyumba yeah. okay sawa so. uh, mm. 
unaona so inakuwa nzuri inapendeza alafu mkiwa nyumbani unakuwa mchangamfu siache sasa mke wako ati sasa sababu amerudi amejifungua unamwacha sasa ndo anashughulika na kila kitu no think ahead think forward two steps ahead sasa kama pale nyumbani ukisha make sure kuna chakula una make sure pia nyumba ni safi kama kuna house help ama hakuna just make arrangement that things happen eh, especially heavy lifting ama shughuli nzito nzito jaribu sana kuondoa huo mzigo kwa mke wako zifanye we mwenyewe na ni kwa muda mfupi sio ati ama ukizifanya kuna mama ama you'll be less a man ama utafungua ama something will happen to you ni ni kumsaidia ni mtu wako sasa unataka kusaidia nani tena mwingine kama si yeye unaona na ni vizuri na unapata anakuwa stress free anakuwa happy and always a happy wife is a happy life mm-hmm. true <laughs> very true <laughs> Uh, so hizo ni mambo kidogo kidogo tu unaangalia na unapata kwamba inakusaidia. I will uh, discuss some of the things that I I learned that a baby does when they are newborn <coughs> apart from the fact that they sleep a lot they also they sleep a lot and then once once they are used to the breastfeeding pattern they feed a lot every 2 to 3 hours or for every 2 to 4 hours then they also poop a lot a lot a lot and you have to make sure they have finished pooping before you start changing them i remember there some night when i, was, <laughs> I had ari pooping then uh, just before she finished i started changing her ili ali misplashia kwa kwa uso everywhere like on the bed i just took rufus up or just like switch at some point idea so make sure they are done pooping and then when they are born the first i think 2 to 4 days or maybe 2 days they poop their poop is black it's called meconium it's black and sticky uh, so that is that's the first kind of poop then the normal one is yellow it becomes yellow now after the four, about a few days the poop becomes yellow and then i think it ca- it can also have some green in case you eat something new and then okay also for of course for formula for formula fed babies it's it's thick and i think it's also smell yeah so yes that's the 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 poop and then they also they poop for a couple of they poop a couple of times a day when they are newborns and then after some time they stop pooping those are day i think when ari was transi- transitioning there was a day she didn't poop for like i think 2 3 days and i really freaked out <laughs> but so but it's 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 quite okay another thing is once after they are done with the meconium they can take a couple of days without pooping again they'll take even one or two weeks but as long as your baby is passing urine i think that should be okay and then another thing always make sure uh, when when they are pooping when you're changing them use either cotton or wet wipes most of the time you're told wet wipes with uh, like warm water you wipe them mimi nakwambia nilichoka especially usiku ukiamka cotton una warm maji unatafuta maji moto ama maybe kwa umeweka kwa thermos so I was just using wet wipes and then nimeona siku hizi they they are bottle uh, wet wipe warmers so you can use that for your baby and that's how about the, uh, that's just the poop thing and then uh, babies experience like a lot of gas so make sure you bath them after breastfeeding mara nyingi ilikuwa kazi ya rufus dads that's where you come in bapi eh once you get tired yani alikuwa na mbao that's part of the support mm-hmm. apart from the moral support now what dads can do immediately mtoto amemaliza kunyonyesha na mama yake mm-hmm. unamsaidia unachukua mtoto una mbap sio ni demonstrate kubap ama demonstrate let us see how <laughs> you are bapping the baby so ashanyonyesha umemchukua <laughs> baby ari unamweka hapa hivi jo unaona na kisha kitu chake kiko huko hivyo ndoto kwa na back vizuri uh, unasikia kiteua inakuwa sawa slightly just pressing on the tummy so the gas comes out the trapped uh, gas una, comes out kisha umefinya tumbo ama unamweka hapa chini kwenye ma kwenye ma nini eh hapo yani ni kuhakikisha tu ume ume umefinya tumbo lake kidogo alafu unaweza mfanya fanya hivi eh mara moja anateuka Hi. <laughs> 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 My daughter. Bu 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 bu. 
Mm -hmm. uh, so that's how you bump your baby. Yes, and then also make sure, yes, in, in case she has gas, sometimes they cry because of gas. This is what I used to do. A little flat surface. Can sleep on daddy, but basically flat surface, not on daddy. Then you lift her legs up like that and sort of uh, pressing on the tummy. Yes, like that. Hey, mom. Are you enjoying? It sort it presses on the tummy and then, you know, extra gas, any tummy comes out. So, Akilia, nunasikia, maybe ni gas, una press evo, like that, like one leg at a time, just slightly. You know, release any gas that is trapped inside the stomach. Now, a lot of babies cry. Are you comfortable, mom? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> babies cry when they're sleep when then newborns uh for me ari not all of them but most of them babies they cry when they're newborns what am i what wrong thing i'm doing but she used to hate bathing so she used to really cry so that that's normal she she they get used to it they even enjoy it when i'm talking to kapa maji ari akopali and i enjoy kuoga yeah she's enjoying taking a bath so yeah when you're uh, washing her make sure you clean the ears well behind the ears uh, make sure you clean her neck properly because at this stage uh bado ana ana lose the 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 newborn skinny leg was here ana toka ngozi ilikuwa kwa Kwa tumbo. Kwa tumbo. Clean the head as well. I used to have, I have a, like a very, you know, to a, a soft brush just to brush because kuna skin in a toka kwa kichwa as well. Uh, ukimosha, make sure pia her face, you wipe, you take a, like a separate cotton, you wipe the cotton and wipe her face with the cotton. Then the rest of the body you can use now the washcloth with soap and, and water. After that, moisturize your baby and it's recommended that you massage your baby. Eh? Una? Una oh, yes, una massage, mikono, you know, yeah. just massage the baby. <laughs> yeah. Massage Daily. the baby. <laughs> Daily. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> Make sure your baby stays very warm all through. But we are told, make sure when you're dressing your baby, depending on how you're feeling, uh, just add one more cloth for the baby. Toto ni kama tu binadamu. Simweke ya meva, it's sunny and they're sweating. And you know, also sweat is not good because they can be sick. Because if they sweat sana, and then ishike nguo, the cloth is wet and it's maybe on their chest. So whatever you're wearing, just add one more to the baby. Let the baby be warm, but not very, like sweating and atapata ta heat rash. So just make sure your baby is like warm, but not overly. It's not overdone. Mama. Then also, make sure your baby goes quarter uh, jua. Vitamin D is very important. Uh, that was also uh, Baba Ari's job. Yakumpeleka quarter jua. Mwe mule ponza le jua la sapale nine thirty ten ten thirty alafu mara pili tena jioni kitu kama saa tisa ushu sa kumi hapo yes. unakuwaga na jua lingine tamu sana sasa ilo ndo jua la mtoto sio ile ile ya kumchoma ah. na hiyo <laughs> eh yeah, ati saa sita saa saba mchana umetoa mtoto it's harmful actually it's harmful yeah. yes so in fact we, are, we started going we were not doing it that much before when she went for her first immunization tuli notice ameanza kuwa na macho zilikuwa zinakaa a bit yellow so tukafikiria ni jaundice we really rushed to hospital <laughs> but we were told it's uh, just we just put her in the sun. in the sun it was a bit of uh, just a, a bit yellow it was it was as if what is metan yellow kapsa so yeah so your baby needs your newborn needs the sun the ear kidogo to alafu mm. face her uh, make sure her face is not you know on the on the sunlight part yeah sana sana kuko mimi kwa miguu mtoe socks just mpeleke kama ameva body suit ama vest ndio unamo expose unamo expose to like now the 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 polite heat of the sun yes then 
uh, there was a time that Ari got sick. Uh, she got a lipatahoma and she got it from me and she was coughing and we went to hospital again. <laughs> when you're a new mom, let me tell you, you do those hospital runs, maranyingi. Uh, but in case you just see anything wrong or those calls to your pediatrician, yeah? So you're, because you're paranoid, you have an obsession to take care of your baby. So you're not sure whether you're doing things right. You want to make sure you're okay all the time. Wow your baby is okay all the time so she got sick we went to hospital and we actually were told that they are actually they are vitamin d tablets uh you can get them from any ke chemist the watoto and they are apparently supposed to take the tablets up to from zero to six months but come out taki tablets but we opted for the tablets just to be safe for the vitamin d because it's very important for the growth of the bones, lack of vitamin D in a cause rickets, yes, lack of vitamin D causes rickets in Amsaidia. In Amsaidia, to absorb intake ya calcium. Yes, vitamin D helps in the absorption of calcium in the body, so it's quite important. Then, speaking of uh, why Ari had homa, so what we were told at the hospital. When your baby has homa, just take a, we had the, some nasal drops. Just make sure when your baby is breastfeeding, they hold on to your boob for maybe two minutes, maybe anacha, anapumzika, ama something of the sort. It can even be longer. Just make sure your baby, when they are breastfeeding, wakipata homa, because uh, newborns tend to get uh, homa sana sana, but it's dangerous when it is affecting how they are breastfeeding because it shows they are not being able to breathe properly and there's not enough oxygen in their stream. So just check when your baby is breastfeeding. Una <laughs> make sure and a breastfeed for like two minutes, one, two minutes even. You are naacha. Isikuwa homa ndio namsubwa ku ku breastfeed. Then also make sure there are some dawa 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 ivi tuliambo si dawa but yeah dawa tuliambo they are good for your baby just when you're having a newborn you can buy for example cod liver oil there's cod liver oil for zero to six months make sure you also check here in amsaidia kutokuwa na hizo homa homa nini anapata omega-3 supplement anapata ya omega-3 yo cod liver it's that fish oil that most of us kitabu we were taking when we were young so yes, also what we bought was Calpol. Calpol we used it for her injections because we did the government injections. Rufa salisema wacha mtoto azoe maisha ya uchungu. Si ya uchungu. Yani tu. So we did the government ones and then sometimes you're told the baby friendly, sometimes they don't work, sometimes they work. And when you start baby friendly, you have to do it all through and you don't want to do that change and whatever. Anyway, so we opted for the government friendly. Ari wasn't crying that much. Akidungwa tu, analia for like what? Five minutes, four minutes, unamweka kwa buba, kwa sawa. Tukienda injections, Rufus was the one holding her. I couldn't bear looking because those, yeah, it's brutal for the mom. Yani, iso shindano ni, they enter into that and the baby is so tiny. So anyway, so yeah, what I was saying is we got Calpol. Calpol will help when the baby starts getting the fever or unamona meanza kusikia some pain because of the uh, immunization. You just give the Calpol, they, they, they have the how you give the baby. So, and that was helping Ari very much. So, yeah, hapo anasumwa. Kikimpatia Calpol, after meanza kupata fever, she was okay. So, those are some of the things you can get. The cod liver oil, the Calpol, and the vitamin D uh, tablets. You can get them from the chemist for the baby. In case they need. Remember to always separate the clothes of the baby from everyone else in the house uh, because they are newborns, their skin is sensitive, you don't know yet how they are going to react to a couple of things and their clothes, uh, wash them with uh, uh, kipande. just that and water, baso, the baso, yes, that's what, the baso, just baso, the normal one, don't use the powder, don't use that soft yet because still very sensitive skin so in fact uh i got uh, I, I remember the uh the first two weeks we got diapers and then uh, we saw ari the first two weeks she's okay with the diapers mm -hmm. then after the two weeks uh ari akapata diaper rash sayo babari alikuwa the big packets of the diapers so make sure just when you're buying your diapers small small packets uh for maybe buy two different ones uh, just to see how your baby's skin will react because they are very sensitive at that stage and 
your you always want to keep your baby safe as a new mom you don't want the baby to choke you don't want the baby to be in distress and you don't know so learn the cues of the baby just be able to understand what your baby is telling you if your baby is tired she needs a diaper change if she's hungry if she's overstimulated because the barrier for na shinanga tu akichezesha mtoto all the time eh uone akimaliza kucheza na lala straight direct the baby will be crying yeah. but yeah amengangana hapo tu kumchezesha so yes uh, when the babies are overstimulated sometimes they cry so just learn to la learn the cues of your baby and your life will be easier for you and uh, i will move on to some mom hacks that i, I have learned through uh, being a mom and some that i was taught by my dear friends who are already mothers and uh, how i coped with being a mom because you need to be able to learn and understand some of these things so that it's easier for you than you know any other time uh, first i'll start to say by uh first this time a mom needs so much support especially from those around her if there is family in the house from the husband because you're prone to postpartum depression because your hormones are low so the first thing i did i was very vocal i was always saying nikita kakitu just ask don't feel like you're disturbing people you brought a baby into this world you need a lot of a lot a lot a lot of care if you do not feel the right way if if you wake up today and you're feeling like you're low that day talk to someone just be very vocal about it because it will help you to cope with that situation the first three months if you can't do anything if you need help if you just need someone to talk to make sure you talk to those around you or any f trusted friend you have i think that's what helped me through the past three months and i was really really glad to have supportive friends around me and my family and my husband so i did it was a really good experience for me until i got used to having the baby so anytime i would feel low i had people who were lifting me up and that's important so i'll start with i'll number them yes so that i can i can be able because i have so many things in my mind i'll start with breastfeeding um I had mentioned breastfeeding. Uh, you, you, it, it is affected by your mental, emotional state, or if you have stress. So, if you are experiencing any distress and any sort of stress, uh, your milk production is going to be affected. So, anytime you want to have milk or you want to breastfeed your child, make sure you're calm because your state of mind will matter. Yes, ma. Yeah. <laughs> your state of mind matters a lot when it comes to. Uh, having enough milk uh, if you do not have enough milk uh, people do tea they do tea lactation tea and, and the cookies i've seen them online so you can always get those and then also try and see which kind of food gives you milk for me it was skuma wiki skuma every day anyway yes that is my that is what it was giving me more milk so just you will find a food that gives you milk for some I've, I've had of porridge and then uh, yeah it works but I cannot stand porridge I, I remember I told my grandma because in our culture once you have a baby and people are coming to see you when I let his own to you could was a UG in a time was a UG you're the fermented one in a talk of other tasks do something I was just like do not bring that I'm not going to drink it <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah so uh, whatever works for you just learn what works for you and when uh, also pumping pumping will uh, be able to what the more you pump the more your milk is available because it will your 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 boobs or your breasts produce milk uh, in accordance with the demand so when you're pumping yeah they think that their babies uh, of course uh, taking the milk so the, your breast will uh, produce milk according to demand so a lot of that that worked for me if i will see, feel like this week i don't have enough milk the next the next uh, week i pump and it was really really working drink water when you're breastfeeding a lot of water but i don't have to even tell you this you get very thirsty i use i take liters and liters of water every day because you get thirsty so you need a lot of water and uh, because basically breast milk is a very high percentage of water and your baby needs that so if you don't drink water there will be no you know breast enough breast milk for your baby and um, you will experience engorgement the first few weeks two three weeks or the first one month 
after your baby is born because you're, you're producing so much milk it's less than what the, the newborn is consuming because they still have a tiny stomach and the breast engorgement is very very painful yes mom it's painful so you need to pump the the milk out and the first uh, milk it's very important you breastfeed your baby the first few weeks because that will help her with the immunity and uh yeah when you stop when, once you pump make sure you store your breast milk sometimes uh, i was i was i was i was you know sometimes you just want to pump and just get rid of the milk because it's very uncomfortable so i usually was not sterilizing the like the what i was using and then i used to pour out the milk and i was told you should never do that so just make sure whatever you're using to pump out the milk is clean so that you store that milk you will need that milk when you leave the house and when you <laughs> when you leave the house or when you go back to work or just in case of any emergency you just always have to have like milk stored and then always ensure that you sleep when your baby is sleeping that was very that is still very hard for me to do that because babies they just sleep on a little two of your kika especially when they're newborn <laughs> and or all of a sudden after a few like two hours she's asleep but and then usiku you're just always awake so it's not it's advisable you sleep when the baby's sleeping but it's hard because wow and alala wewe on the other hand before you sleep as an adult it's a process you will take 10 minutes it will take 30 minutes it takes time before you sleep so most of the time unapata sa zile unaenda kulala yende anaamka so you just have to wake up but it's advisable or sa zile ya nalala mi nilikuwa nataka ni chill ni watch a movie i just relax you know i just have time to myself i just chill out it's hard but it's very very advisable to ensure that uh, ari did not have any problems with her tummy once she breastfed because milk has a lot of gas I was advised to use dill seeds and that is what I was drinking. Uh, there's also there's dill seeds, there's also fenugreek seeds and dill seeds worked for me. Uh, for me, I, I, I used to just nakunywa kama dawa, I used to take a teaspoon. I still do a teaspoon na subui na jioni, unakunywa na maji, but the best way is you boil them in hot water and then sieve and drink that water and uh, i think it really helps it has a couple of uses it helps with the digestion even with uh, mothers who experience constipation after delivery it helps a lot with digestion it also helps with the relieving of gas so your milk that is not as gassy it will also help her in her digestion and the release of the gas so that it doesn't disturb her stomach and it's very good also for cleaning your womb after delivery so there were those are the couple of uses that uh, I know from the top of my head and uh, yes so that is uh, what I know about breastfeeding also make sure anytime you're pumping your milk you moisturize because me uh, I was not pumping my milk that much because the pump the electric pump is in a new miser. and even the the manual one it's just a lot of work just you know so I I stopped pumping because of the pain yakumizwa so most of the time I was even trying to now win uh Ari so that when I go back to work she does formula which she refused but accepted later on uh, so make sure you moisturize because I wasn't doing that during the pumping even when she breastfeed uh, after breastfeeding make sure you always just your nipples need to be moisturized it's a lot of work and pressure some are always sucking on them so you're bound to be very sore so it's very very advisable yeah. now the first two weeks of my pregnancy were my worst because of the pain you're still getting used to the whole uh, <laughs> the whole thing that you're a mom there's this new creature you so much is demanded from you and you're in pain but uh, with the wound um, with the wound I think of course I had suggested the seats but earlier that really helped me because I will sit there all the time when I was feeling uncomfortable of course you cannot use uh, like uh, tissue paper at that time because of the wound so you I would also recommend you get a, like a bottle or something just so when you use the washroom you always have like water if it's salty the better if it's warm as well the better it really helps so the seeds bath really really helps it heals you faster it dries your wound as well and i think it the salt works with uh, works with bringing back the elasticity or something 
uh, so yes back to the normal size of something so yes the seats bath was really helping me it's very refreshing for me and it helped me feel better anytime you you, you sit on the seats bath sit for a couple of how long was i taking around five minutes to ten minutes huh? yeah five to ten minutes it really helps so as many times as you can a day i was doing it twice now you experience uh <coughs> yeah ma <laughs> you experience a lot of bleeding the first uh, week or two uh, it of course it reduces gradually uh, the first uh, the first week it's you know a lot of I think it's dark red then it becomes a lighter shade of red and then finally it's usually creamish uh, whitish creamish and that's the your body getting rid of the excess white blood cells that you had during the pregnancy and a hack that a friend taught me is you take two um, the maternity pads they're usually so one one you take two of them and just stick it stick both of them together on on the maternity pad so it creates a larger surface area for you because you bleed a lot and then of course you can always reduce it uh depending on now your flow so that worked for me and you get uh so number i don't even remember what number i am anymore but uh another thing that people don't tell you after pregnancy uh, after you deliver you experience hemorrhoids hemorrhoids are swellings you get on your rectum uh, most of the time after you go to the washroom and they're uncomfortable and sometimes they're painful uh, i do not have a hack for those i just use patience <laughs> they, they swell they, then they go away so still painful but uh, they stop after a couple of what one month two months after a couple of weeks you'll be fine that's how i was dealing with that patience you experience also back pain i used to have back pain but we talked to rufus's mom who again i had mentioned earlier is an authority because there are eight of them and she was like <laughs> but then i asked her i asked her if you ever get i asked her if you ever get if you ever get used to the pregnancy pain and whatever because she has eight children and she says pregnancy and the delivery you will never get used to the labor pain it's always different every single time and it's painful i know so i know so that's exactly what she said i know so ah. <laughs> she's costarian and all so yes oh yeah so we talked to her about the back and she told me kukanda na majimu kukanda massage with hot water with like a hot towel and hot water so rufus used to do for that for to me every day because let me tell you your back will ache that was the one of the most also uncomfortable pains for me because when you're pregnant your back is sort of up because of the extra weight and then once the weight you may talk up you you immediately go back and you see the back is not used to that yet yet so it has to go back into position so you have to make sure just hot towel uh, and with water rufus was very he was listening to instructions and caught one and choma all of the time like in the bona but yeah so it really works if you also have even massage <laughs> oil uh you can he got very creative and you just uh, with the hot water and the massage oil and then you just sort of rub the back mm. it it really, <laughs> sana. <laughs> it really helped yes that 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 honestly really helped helped because sometimes uh even after delivery you'll experience even now for some uh, mothers experience that for the rest of their lives like the back pain and you can maybe help see if that will work for you just make sure you take care of your back it's very very important and uh i also experienced a uh, swelling of the legs not only during the pregnancy but also immediately after so whenever you're sitting down and you're breastfeeding and you're doing anything if you're not lying down just make sure your legs are on top of somewhere so that you're not your legs are not always down you know so just always have your legs up it 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 helped any other pain that i experienced what else was i feeling mm. i used to complain to him all the time so he always knew what <laughs> the <laughs> things Mama i was Ari, going through Mama Ari. the other thing that i was experiencing is sweating a lot especially at night i used to wake up and it's like someone amekumwagilia tu bucket ya maji because it's 
you sweat a lot and it's very uncomfortable so make sure you get good clothes that are neither you don't feel cold at night or you don't feel too warm uh, maybe uh, my friends have just said satin or silk at least uh, how to ask your origin, how to joto sana because for example i i experienced i got a cold and i was coughing the first two weeks because the number of times i have slept come on my catching you know you wake up at night and she wants to breastfeed and when she's breastfeeding uh and you need to bap her una, una lala tu una sahau. so i used to sleep a lot when i'm seated and sometimes ukilala evo, the next time una amka ni yeye ana move anataka kujinya tena so just get good comfortable clothes especially even after pregnancy because um the, the the pregnancy clothes you are wearing are too big the ones that you are wearing before you got pregnant are too small so you you get things come at i used to i'm a fan of wearing tights even now just get comfortable airy clothes that will be good for you during that period and of course uh, make sure that you have a healthy healthy diet all the time they are breastfeeding supplements that i was taking and i was also taking calcium then this is what i did i noticed that the breastfeeding supplements have calcium in them so i stopped taking the the calcium supplements eh my hair has been falling off so i've just gotten back to the calcium supplements please take calcium supplements all through the period of breastfeeding because uh, your hair will fall off i think it will assist well for me so just have calcium supplements i think they are very very important um the other thing that maybe you should know is of course you'll be leaving the house sometimes uh i was only leaving when i was taking her for clinics or in case you only need to leave there's an emergency and you have to leave um the hacks i used to do if you have to have your makeup on uh just do what mascara eyeliner and lip gloss and you're good to go wear clothes get clothes in the house like tights and tops that you're able to wear in the house and outside they really help also when you're getting your diaper bag get a good big one or one that has many pockets that you can always use as a pass as well and i was using uh, get a small bag like this this was a gift uh, that you put when when you're in the house and you're running around and you want to change her diaper this i used to put it has everything it has uh, her wet wipes it has the diaper it has a moisturizer it has the nipple nipple cream so you just always have it so are you happy so whenever you need to change her whenever you need to change her you have like uh just something that is compact so ukitaka kum kum change unasema tu nimleta ile bag yangu instead of having them scattered around the house so basically yeah that's what i was using that's it on the mom hacks uh i can't think of anything else but you can you can oh yes also uh make sure your hair is done uh your last month of uh, uh pregnancy make sure your hair is done maybe cornrows the protective hairstyles or have a hat uh, have hats for bad hair days and they'll help you when you want to leave the house you just put on a hat and you're good to go i think yes i'm done i can't remember any other things if i remember along the way i will i will i will let you know so neza dandia kidogo uh i think now for the men eh, what is really important is uh, it all boils down to uh, support so what i want to say is number one shuli ndogo ndogo za pale nyumbani katika hii hali sasa wajua mama hawezi weka katika condition ya kufanya shuli ngumu kazi ngumu ngumu kubeba beba mizigo nini kama mmetoka shopping pamoja unafaa sasa utokeleze uh, umsaidie kubeba ile mizigo ya shopping pale nyumbani kuna shuli ndogo ndogo ambazo uh, mama unaweza kumpumzisha uh, mara kwa mara unaweza kuwa na mtu anawasaidia pia ama we mwenyewe unaingia jikoni unatayarisha mampuli uh, kwa haraka he cooks the best food by the way <laughs> unaona uh, yani yeah. una, uh, una, una msaidia, una msaidia shughuli nzito nzito saa pale nyumbani tunazijua sisi maana yake tunakaa pamoja so unakuwa unachukua una, una, una kifao mbele uh, unajitokeza and then number two, uh, kwa sababu ya haja ameipitia miezi yote tisa na mpaka amejifungua mwili wake umepitia mambo mengi sana unaona unapata kwamba 
kuna sehemu zimefura pengine kupita kiasi e, amekuwa na e, ile baby fat imekuwa nyingi so usi usianze kuangalia nje ni mke wako mtamani katika ile ile hali na wewe ukimwambia anakaa vizuri very important <laughs> una, una notice vitu vidogo vidogo pale nyumbani kama akichange hair style unaipongeza unamwambia hiyo hairstyle mpya inakaa akichange hair style which is not very often because you are busy taking care of the baby you are ah, not you are not even thinking about how good you look yeah, no 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 sweet at nimekuwa nikiona ukifunga funga hivi mara umefunga juu mara wasijui yes know. just look for compliments wewe tafuta tu tafuta it makes us feel good eh <laughs> bwana akibadilisha nguo pia kama ametoka kuoga unamwambia unakaa vizuri kama amefunga leso kama ametoka bafuni unamwambia hiyo leso imekushika vizuri unaona mambo madogo madogo kama vitu vidogo vidogo kama hivyo vinaleta tofauti unaona and then number three, eh, kama eh, baba sasa pale nyumbani usisahau kumu lako na mtoto <laughs> mtoto ni wenu pamoja eh, unaona akimaliza kunyonyesha unamchukua unambaba sasa ingine unamchange diaper sasa ingine unasaidia kumbreast inaitwa eh, kumbreast feed kumbreast feed ya chupa i using the bottle here yeah, bottle, eh, bottle feed mtoto unampatia maziwa ama kama ni formula unampatia unachukua mtoto unacheza naye unachukua mtoto unatoka naye nje una sun eh, unampeleka ana sun bath anapata vitamin, vitamin D. D unaona mambo madogo madogo kama hayo kama mtoto amefika Uh, umri wa ku wa kumfanyia tummy time unamfanyia tummy time unaona inakuwa nzuri inapendeza sasa hiyo yote ina boil down to bonding with the family bonding with your baby. With, with your baby bonding with your wife na mnakuwa na raha manake mnakuwa pamoja pamoja inapendeza sana ama vipi mama Ari yes uh, just <laughs> your husband needs to really support you but uh, at the end of the day Uh, as a mother once you deliver and of course you, you'll have added weight there are parts of you that are no longer the same have a positive body image because even if he compliments you mara ngapi and you're not feeling confident in yourself it will not make a difference mm, so self confidence be kind to yourself don't expect to change and snap back like everyone like you see around it's possible it's yet it's not but give yourself time it took you nine months to get to a bigger body it can take you do that after a year like me i was very prepared on exercising after the three months na nini my friend three months zilisha rufa sako uko unaenda no three months as jaisha bado bado eh bado tunangoja three months bado zinaendelea bado zinaisha all just like eh hey, ah uh, mimi mwenyewe hapa pia I was to go back to the gym uh, because you know? he said he added weight through my pregnancy so, because I was making him to eat at the gym pamoja tusaidiane uh, but i think ni corona so it has but yeah we that my dream was never realized but it's because i'm like you know let me just have my space let me have my time i will go back when i'm ready and i am okay you know just make sure it comes from you and be kind to yourself very important i was advised though if you want to lose your tummy but mine is still there and i will deal with it later uh if you want to lose it my friend told me that aleso is better because it sort of lifts your tummy than just the waist trainer but it depends on the waist trainer i don't know but i was advised that uh leso is better um uh, and i tried we tried for how long ile kufunga tumbo leso na ile inasaidia by the way yeah it was helping and we tried it for <laughs> less than a week a couple of days first the first day tulifunga vibaya tukafunga ikakuwa tight i got a nikaumia mgongo ikafura nipata nundu inaitwa nundu kwa hiyo please tumefunga leso i think it was too tight so nikapata nundu nikaumia and that time your pain is your back is still in pain so uh, the next time tukafunga vizuri but ah mimi nikatoka tu but yeah i hear leso is much better in case you want to tie your tummy <laughs> i think that's pretty much it on my experience as a new mom Uh, remember experiences are different from parent to parent from uh, your mode of delivery to you know your 
background and your culture just anything that influences you uh, just can influence how you handle uh, being a new mom so but yeah i hope what i said was helpful and that it will <laughs> I think so. yeah it was helpful it was helpful yeah i hope it was helpful to someone out there someone who will who is pregnant someone who will get a child in future um and anyone else if you're a mom uh please free to comment i'm sure there are mom who are gurus and have more hacks than i do uh, i'm just new to this uh, please feel free to comment some of the hacks and some of the things you experience to help other moms out there or other people who are, want to be moms or they'll be moms in future. Basically that, yes mom, what's up? <laughs> Sweetheart, mm -hmm. uh, can I say something before maybe we, we wind up Kabisa? Sure, sure, sure. Yes. So, uh, ku angazia mambo maweli matatu Basically ni kupeana summary ya yale mambo ambayo ni nimesema hapo nyuma nyuma sasa acha niapatie mtiririko mmoja mzuri yawe kama kifungu kimoja hivi so that uh, it can make uh, a bit of sense more sense unajua so nitaanzia pale kwa support through the pregnancy wakati mumeanza ujauzito just be there for your wife be there for your partner kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho and then sasa wacha tu fast forward mpaka hospitali mkiwa pale hospitali kwa sababu ya hali ya mama ya ujauzito na nini amechoka kuwa mtu mwepesi ukikimbia eh, kama nasi anatakana na yuko karibu make sure wewe ndio umekimbia kama ile kengele iko pale ifanye kazi ama ile alarm bado unaifanya kazi kuwa mwepesi kimbia uite nasi ama uite daktari uh, kama kuna dawa zinatakana na hazipatikani kwa haraka kuwa mwepesi kukimbia chakula matunda maji yani just be there for your wife and give her your sure, best and yeah, make sure you don't forget your painkillers <laughs> you will need them for the first two weeks you will need the painkillers and uh, get the safe ones of course the hospital will give you the ones that are good uh, well, when you're breastfeeding because anytime you're breastfeeding you you should be you should get any medicine through prescription from your doctor or from the hospital because it will go to your baby straight to your baby through the breast milk so any medicine you get make sure it's prescribed uh, okay okay so bado ukiwa hospitali uh, akisha umepata birth notification certificate ya mtoto wako ndio uweze kupata birth certificate akisha pia number 3 uko na immunization schedule ya mtoto wako ndio mkitoka pale uh, unajua unaweza kujipanga kisaikolojia ama na kifedha pia ujue kama utampeleka ile ya serikali ama utampeleka inaitwaje ile sweet at ile nyingine baby friendly eh baby friendly unajua yote ni mahesabu so unajipanga na mapema haya kabla utoke hospitalini sasa hiyo ni siku ya kutoka uko na pesa cash mfukoni ya kulipa bidi yote ambayo inakutizama ama kama uko unajitetea na insurance card hakisha uko uko tayari umejipanga umepanga pia usafiri wa kutoka hospitalini Eh, kama ni gari liko pale nje ni safi linangojea familia yako ndogo kama ni taksi iko pale nje kama unachukua usafiri wa uma hakikisha safari ya kutoka hospitalini mpaka kufika nyumbani ni very smooth hakikisha eh, mama ni very comfortable anajisikia very comfortable asilalamike jamani ni siku yake ya kwanza na mtoto duniani kwenda nyumbani kwa hivyo pia pale nyumbani umetayarisha eh, ni kusafi kama unaweza umeweka zile welcome eh, newborn ama new mom vitu kama hivyo hakisha kuna chakula kina mngoja mapocho pocho mazagazaga nani mfurahishe kama anapenda keki pale nyumbani kama ni mtu wa uh, maja sharbati yako pale anamngojea <laughs> <laughs> nyumba ni safi unaona uh, una, una, yani cheza kama wewe chakula kiko kwa mpigo and then uh, now through the journey mpiwa nyumbani hakisha una provide all the kind of support moral support psychological support emotional support uh, na kwa sababu wewe ni mwanamume jitolee pia shughuli za ambazo zinahitaji nguvu nguvu hakisha zote wewe ndio unazifanya uh, ili kumrelieve na kumpatia mama muda wa kupona again number 5 ama number 6 uh, kuna shughuli nzima ya kumtoa mtoto nje kupigwa na jua hilo ni jukumu lako lichukue tu liembrace 
kama baba au baba mtoto ikifika asubuhi saa tatu na nusu saa nne kama unapatikana nyumbani wakati huo ndo umepewa ile paternity leave si ndio mtoto mm. <laughs> <laughs> mtoto nje akuwa na jua jioni saa 9:30 saa 10 paka saa 10:30 mtoto 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 nje uh, apigwe na jua na itapendeza nyumbani tu bado uh, mama kishamaliza kunyonyesha mtoto ili kumsaidia unaweza kuchukua ule mtoto wewe ndo na baba unaona anateuka inakuwa nzuri ni mambo madogo madogo tu ya kusaidia alafu mtoto akishakuwa kuwa ama hata bado pia akiwa mdogo kuna ile time time inakuwa nzuri inasaidia mtoto ku develop uh, uh, backbone yake na ku develop balance ya mwili mzima so that uh, and, uh, na, 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 na head control so manake akilala chini hivi unaona anainua kichwa na ki zungusha zungusha left right center na nini so inamsaidia hata katika process nzima ya mtoto wako kuanza kukaa okay. eh, kukaa na ile pia kutambaa so ni mzuri mimi sana sana napenda kumfanyia mtoto wangu hiyo eh, time time manake najua advantage zake zote so nikimalizia ukiwa kama a new dad in the society uh, nitakuomba ama ni muhimu sana u learn to accept change manake so many thing and so much is changing at a very fast pace yani ghafla binvu ushakuwa baba ghafla binvu you have a new member in the family so new responsibilities, new responsibilities. unapata sasa hata mtizamo wako uh, kule nje wa uma ama halaiki nzima kule nje inakuangalia tofauti so badilisha minendo yako kama ulikuwa mtu wa kukata maji ama ulikuwa umezoea kwenda out kila siku na kuja nyumbani late kata sio tipunguza kata patikana nyumbani kutoka kazini kimbia nyumbani mama anakuhitaji mtoto wako anakuhitaji mimi nilikuwa na, na uzoefu wa, ku, wa kuja nyumbani kuchelewa lakini mtoto alipokuja nilikuwa najua ikifika saa 12 mpaka saa 1 ni wakati wake wa kuoga na alikuwa nimejitolea kwa sababu alikuwa mdogo nilikuwa nafika nyumbani mapema nasaidia mama kumosha mtoto na namsaidia pia kubab so learn to accept the change that comes with the newborn hiyo uh, change itakuja pia kwa marafiki zako watabadilika manake sasa ulikuwa na marafiki wa sherehe sasa inabidi unakupata marafiki ambao wako na familia watu ambao wako na watoto au ni watu ambao watakuelewa the, the struggles that you are going through watu ambao wanaelewa zile changamoto unazozipitia so when it comes to your circle of friends and the kind of advice that you will get will be the right advice because now you are talking to the right people ni watu wanakuelewa yale mambo unayopitia ni watu wanakufahamu vizuri kabisa so mambo ambayo atakwambia ama the things that you'll be talking about are things that you are going through so make sure lakini inakuja automatically tu utajipata tu wale marafiki ambao hawana family ama your former friends utapata kwamba mnaanza ku lose touch pole pole na unaanza kuwa na marafiki wengi wa watu ambao wako na family ama na watoto Ina, it comes naturally hata wakati mtoto wako anakuwa ataanza kucheza na marafiki i ame mean, ataanza kucheza na watoto wa marafiki zako mara ya kwanza as she grows old kama baby ari she gets new friends she, yeah, she automatically gets, gets new friends, friends. <laughs> and now you will be friends with the parents of the Be- the friends that your babies are friends with you know mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's a very interesting journey yeah and then now kumalizia kabisa kumalizia kabisa uh, create time for your partner create time yes. for your partner <laughs> manake sasa mtoto asi asiibe wakati wenu wa mahaba asiibe wakati wenu wa mapenzi asiibe wakati wenu wa kwenda out unaona create time for your partner that goes both ways sorry that goes both ways also the mom remember your your husband he also needs your attention he's the first baby uh, finally mothers uh, you'll get a lot of advice from your friends from your family some of it will be unsolicited advice you will read a lot during your pregnancy just to prepare yourself for your little one but remember that at the end of the day your mother instinct is what is important trust your gut and these little ones they can survive a lot they are very very strong and the journey it's worth it it's very fulfilling 
kama ni vile tuko na majukumu nyingi and there are a lot of work we will have kama wa 10 hivi si ndio si chat wa 10 hivi 10 tu vile Mungu atatuwezesha hata zaidi ya 10 why not why not bidii bidii